All right, today's workout is uh, high volume arms. Starting out with some cable curls. Uh, as you can see, uh, or can't see from the video, I keep my elbows a little bit behind me. Uh, try to get a decent, decent stretch in the biceps. Don't want to do it too hard, um, but definitely want to keep your uh, elbows behind you. Close to your body, don't turn them out. Uh, that's the first warm up set. And this, then, then this right here is a working set. Uh, not really sure what the weight is, but I stuck with it for four sets of ten. Just get the uh, biceps grooved up, greased up, ready to go. Uh, for a lot of the main heavy movements, again, keep your elbows behind you when you're doing a curl of this nature. Um, definitely something different I wanted to try, seeing as that I had access to some unique equipment over at Bob's Fitness in uh, Bellevue today. Um, right here, second exercise uh, are uh, preacher hammer curls. Uh, main thing with this exercise is that you want to dig your armpit into that pad. You see how I'm doing right there. You can see a little bit of air as uh, I'm coming up. But you really want to dig your uh, armpit into that pad. Um, right here, this is a, I think it's a 45 pound dumbbell. And I stuck with those for about three sets of 10. Then I dropped it down to 40 for my last set. Uh, but again, you definitely want to keep this uh, pretty strict. Don't want to hyperextend the elbow either. Um, I see a lot of guys doing that in the gym. So you just want to make sure that you come down to a, a good position where you're not damaging the elbow too bad. And uh, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that bicep. Squeeze that forearm. Arms aren't a, a body part that needs a ton of heavy weight to grow. Um, heavy weight is fine from time to time, as you'll see in the next couple exercises. Uh, but again, that's all relative. But you just want to make sure you're getting a good contraction, good squeeze uh, at the top with your movements. Okay, uh, next exercise, as soon as I finish this one, is just, uh, I mean, let's be real. What, what bicep workout is complete without barbell curls? So... Went ahead with the short bar, loaded it up with uh, 95 pounds, stuck with that for two sets. My first set was 75 pounds. Uh, like, believe it or not, that's kind of heavy, at least for me. I'm not the strongest bodybuilder in the world, so, uh, you know, I do what I can. Stuck with, uh, I believe, about eight reps. I wasn't really even counting. But, uh, yeah, just your general standard barbell curl, nothing fancy. Uh, then we're moving on to alternate dumbbell curls, uh, another bread and butter exercise for the arms. Um, I haven't done these in a while, uh, about a month or two at least, and I just I really like doing them. I see uh, Flex Lewis do them sometime too, so that's why I get so motivated to do them. But they're really a really good uh, arm builder. Um, a lot of people put a lot of body English into it. You want to keep that to a minimum. Um, even with 65-pound uh, dumbbells, my body English isn't even all that bad. Um, you want to keep stress on the bicep all the way through the exercise. Uh, could I have slowed down the rep cadence some? Looking at it, yeah, now sh I could have. But really, you just want to make sure that you're getting a good, a good rep cadence, good strong contraction at the top, and not squeezing too much and not using too much body English with this exercise. Uh, this next one right here was a little bit unique. I was supposed to do spider curls, but I figured, you know, I haven't done rest pause sets in a while for arms, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. And, uh, basically that's what I did. I hit my first failure point on the hammer strength preacher curl at about 10 reps. Uh, as you can see, I'm about to get up out the machine right there. Take, uh, about 10 breaths. Uh, I think that's how, uh, Dante advises it to uh get his rest get rest pause and uh your workout um i think not too sure but uh hit failure 10 second breaths hit failure again 10 seconds and i think i hit it again and that was it um or i may have just done it once i don't even remember because i'm halfway tired right now um yep i took another breath so i hit three failure points and then I tried to go for a static. Holy shit, did that fail miserably. Uh, static reps are cool. Uh, you can still keep stress on the muscle even though the weight isn't moving. 
uh, you'll see right here in a little bit where I just kind of I'm trying to pull the weight but I'm just I'm really holding it and that's when you know the muscle has reached a pretty good failure when you can't even hold it like that last rep uh, this is falling out of vogue with the new jacks never mind how skinny my legs are and how big my belly is uh, concentration curls uh, actually we'll build a decent amount of size on the arms uh, I know we opt for machines when we're doing something like this, but it's always good to go back old school and just uh, pick up a dumbbell and go for it, man. You don't need a bunch of fancy equipment sometimes, you know what I mean? So, good strong contraction again. Uh, standing overhead uh, dual rope extensions. Uh, I was supposed to do these. I believe I was supposed to do these seated, but I think a piece of equipment was being used that I needed. Uh, and I essentially just wanted to get out of there too because I was pretty tired after working from 11 to 7 and uh, at this point in the morning it's about 8.15 so kind of took the path of least resistance but with those you want to make sure your triceps are getting a good stretch, a uh, good squeeze. Um, these are another bread and butter exercise, close grip bench press. Uh, I like doing these a lot. Um, I don't go too heavy on them because I just went heavy on chest a couple days ago, and this does, this does, this exercise does uh, incorporate a lot, a lot of chest. Uh, but it's a great tricep builder too if you bring your grip close in. So I think I did sets of around about eight to five reps, uh, about four sets, and then here, um, just your standard customary tricep dip on the flex dip machine. Um, you see I'm leaning forward a bit too much and I just sat back right there. Uh, I want to keep all that stress on my tricep. Um, and you'll see for the next set how I just adjusted that and I'm sitting back even more. Slowing down the rep cadence even more um, just to make it harder on the uh, tricep. But uh, I think I did about, about three, four sets here. So uh, between biceps and triceps I average probably I think about close to 40 if not 40 sets. Uh, that is definitely high volume, and that's definitely something um, you don't want to do uh, too often. So train hard, Now, I'll see you on the flip side.